I had a lovely sighting of a monarch butterfly down at the end of the lane. And this reminded me that I need to plant something in the milkweed family as a host plant for these monarchs. Howdy! Possum Patty here. It is June 8th and I am nature journaling. It is in the afternoon. The sky is clear, tiny bit of a breeze, and it's in the 70s, a beautiful day. Over on the sand mound, I found what may be a blackberry bush of some sort, for there are native blackberries and non-native blackberries. I did not know about the Himalayan blackberry, which is from Armenia and Iran. I like to come over on the sand mound because it seems to be such a different habitat than right next to it, because that's the natural woods. And this is kind of artificial, brought in dirt, septic system underneath. And it's a little sunnier here because some dead trees, which gives an opening in the canopy. So we have some of the same flowers growing here, but some different ones also. And what's buzzing around? Something just buzzed my head. I like to come over here and see if there's dragonflies or damselflies. Now this little plant has prickers. That leaf combination looks familiar. I'm gonna have to look that up. The leaves of the blackberry are palmately compound. There's five leaflets coming out from one point. Wikipedia says that blackberries are prickly brambles in the rose family. And just yesterday, I compared a five-petaled white flower from the brambles to a five-petaled white flower from the multiflora rose. All parts of this plant seem to be prickly. Even the back of the leaves had prickers on them. Along the lane, I found two interesting plants, and they were very close to my driveway, but on the other side of the road. One is the hog peanut. I love the shape of this leaf. I think it's called broadly ovate. And this is a compound leaf with three leaflets. Hog peanut, a very handsome three-part compound leaf. I'm going to have to come later in the year and look for the peanuts. Now this will not bloom until later in the summer, and it actually gets two types of flowers, an open flower and a closed flower. The closed flower grows close to the ground. It doesn't open, but it self-pollinates, and then the roots and the seeds from the ground are edible. We'll have to check on this later in the season. And right near it was another wild lettuce plant. And this lactuca is completely smooth, no hairs on the veins. And I think this one must be different than the ones growing up at the end of the lane because this was so smooth and there were absolutely no hairs on the back of this leaf. Some wild lettuces are called opium lettuce and their milky white sap is used to make a painkiller or sedative. And this substance, lactocarium, resembles opium.
Every day there's just so much to learn. Sometimes I feel like my head is going to explode. But I make it fun by just trying to learn a little every day and drawing and writing and painting in my nature journal. Thanks for coming along today. Bye bye. But it's funny how the little tree seedlings, the very young ones, have the biggest leaves, like this oak leaf.